knowing now that the it's a hood flap that has come off the right front of that 33 of Ron Hornaday. The cowl flap. There's actually a cowl flap on each side of that uh, of, of the hood of that truck. Let's see if we can take a look back at how that thing went. Away. While you're looking on the right side of your screen, watch the front of that 33 truck. In order for the, that that um, flap to pop up, you have to have negative air pressure right there at the hood, and he's got all of his air off of his hood. He's right on top of nine. Watch it open when he hits Todd. Yeah. And then it closed when he moved back away from him. And then he's second back in that middle line, and there it goes. Flies off of the truck. Now, they could black flag him and ask him to come in and put another flap on that truck. Take a look Watch on board. When you're right on someone, your flap's open. And there it goes. It's just held on really with a very, very small aluminum bracket, a hinged bracket. It's supposed to have a spring that holds it down as well. The spring keeps it from flapping back and forth. And that is why we are under the third caution. It is debris on the racetrack. That is the hood flap from Ron Horn today's truck. Oh, oh. the Albertsons number 16 of of uh, Brian Scott just ran over that piece of metal. Well, the good news is that's just a piece of aluminum. That will not affect it. I don't even think that could cut a tire down. But I'm not sure if NASCAR won't make Ron Hornady's team put another cowl flap on, and they may not be prepared to do that. That's not something that you would automatically have a spare of. And when you put it on, it has to be functional. You can't just tape one on there because it has to operate so that if the truck spins, the flap opens, keeps the truck on the ground. They may have sent somebody back to the truck, to the backup truck, to get one of those off of there, and then they will try to rig some sort of a bracket to attach that to that truck. Aerodynamics are so important at these racetracks. Now, a lot of times, if there's an accident, something happens, we see the Bondo or the Barabond going on a, a, a car or a truck. Is this a situation? Is it required to have that flap? Yes. So he will have to have that flat put back on. And that's, that's why the NASCAR, NASCAR is working with him there. And you can't just it. tape it over. It has to be functional. Now, if you have damage and your truck's not up to speed, they'll let you pretty much tape it up where it'll go run. But when you're competitive and racing for a win, you have to stay uh, within the rules. You have to have all the aerodynamic uh, devices that are that are on the truck for safety purposes working. You know, one thing we have to remember now, the reason for that cow flap is to let air out from underneath the hood of that truck if that truck was to get sideways. With that open right now, NASCAR may determine that it is functioning. That's that's really a disadvantage for them, that the fact that there's no no bra no uh, hinged piece right there now. So they NASCAR may say, hey, if you're okay with it, we're okay with it because right now it will do what it's designed to do and let air out from under the truck. And that's a disadvantage for Ron Hornaday? It will be a disadvantage, a less aerodynamic uh, front end for that truck than it would be. But okay. the problem would be if Rick Wren said, we're just going to come in and tape that hole up, and NASCAR would have a problem with that. And we see Rick Wren continuing to talk to the not only the team, but he was talking to the NASCAR officials. They're making now, a plan. In the big picture here, Ron Hornaday comes into this race with a 224-point lead. There are currently six trucks that are off the racetrack. Jason White, Murphy, Brandon Nup, Robert we Richardson, we just got the okay TJ to Bell, it. and Jennifer Joe Cobb. And we just stop. heard hey guys, we can tires, just cover. Four tires only. Here's the situation on the 33. They do not have to replace that flap. NASCAR told them that it was an operable flap beginning. They cannot cover it, but they can leave it just the way it is. Lots of fuel going in. Hornaday stalls his truck. They'll push him here, try to refire. He's going to lose a couple of spots, but they're allowed to leave it the way it is. Adam? We see some sheet metal problems with Mike Wallace's truck. Yeah, that's behind that's part that of the left fender. That, that's something that NASCAR will look at. I'm sure NASCAR is going to bring that truck in because that looks like that could fly off that truck. Potential black flag coming up for Mike Wallace in the 48. And another reason is obviously if that comes off, bad. it may not cause anybody problems, but it, it will be debris on the racetrack. And that just goes to show you. Oh, oh the hood's, hood's about up. to come off as well of the 48. So I'm guessing we'll see Mike Wallace checking up now. Ryan Hornaday is hung in behind him. The sun coming out. The black flag for the 48 also coming out. That, that, that truck's truck falling apart. It had all it could take. First of all, the left front fender fell off, and then the hood blew off of it. 